Right, I'm here just to camp in this old woodland folly. It's pretty cool and uh, I'm just going to spend the evening here. I'm in the Hilleberg Alak 2 so I'm going to pitch that up and cook up a little bit of food, nothing too fancy, and spend the night under the stars. There's a chill in the air but you can feel spring. You can feel it in uh, the, you know, the, the flowers that are shooting through, the primroses, daffodils and, um, and whatnot. And you can see the little buds coming out on the trees. It's a, it's a lovely time of year, I love this time of year. So I, th I think once I've got set up and I've got my tent up and everything, I'm going to have a little forage and see what I can find, see if I can uh, find some wild early spring edibles to, uh, to put with my tea. Find a decent specimen, there's a good, there's a decent specimen, look. Scarlet Elf Cup, look. Lovely, and these are edible, edible fungus. They don't look edible, they look a bit, uh, you would think, oh that's a warning. Um, but, they are edible. And I'll keep these to go along with the banquet. Nice little, nice little collection there. I don't want to take too many. I've got, I've got a bit of my own food with me, so I don't really need too much. So it'd only be a waste. It's just for a bit of flavour and a, just to get some of that early spring vibes. And this for you, for those of you that that don't know, and this is for people that just don't know. There's plenty of people who watch, sorry. <laughs> I'll get better at that. There's plenty of people who watch who don't know about foraging and whatnot, so this is for you guys. Everyone who knows about it, apologies if it's just recycled information, but it's the age we live in. Uh, cover me, cover me barn it. Yeah, focus on that instead of my grill. There you are. Primrose and the flower and the leaves, everything of the plant is edible. So I'm going to take some of the flowers and some of the small leaves. Again, I don't want to take too much. I don't need it, but it's a nice little addition. I'd quite like to find some ramsons if I can. Oh, here we go. Look, yes, this as well. While we're here. Mm. Come on, face. Why wouldn't it be kind and focus you? <laughs> anyway, there you go. Wood sorrel. It's a lovely, uh, lovely little leaf. This. It's really cool when you eat it. You don't really get anything, and then it, it builds up, and it's a bit like it's citrusy, and it's a little bit like apple skin, I think. So we'll, we'll have a bit of this in the pocket. There's not a great deal of it. Right. I found this fallen ash tree and ash is always a great host for these. King Alfred's cakes or cramp balls, you might know them as. A bushcraft staple. But I've not, any, I've not had any of these in my fire lighting kit for some time, so... I find the ones underneath the tree to be a lot better, because they seem to... Oh, that's dead as a disco. Oh, they're good, they're good ones. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> there you go. Cramp balls, how they I'll put them in my pocket and it might, they might be dry enough to get our fire going tonight with. If not, I'll just leave them by the fire and uh, I'll add them to me, to me kit or we'll get our morning fire going with them. We'll 
We'll see. Let me get out of jail free card. <laughs> Try and get out in me in my fire kit. I'll oh, just use this. Come here. Oh, she's wet. I have to put it in my pocket, dry it out. Oh, it is wet. Right, the beauty of the uh, Alak 2, the tent, the Hilleberg Alak 2, uh, is that it's, it's self-standing so we can actually pitch it on this hard floor without having to use pegs because it's quite sheltered here and it's not forecast to be windy so <laughs> let's give it one of them mate, let's crotch shot it, oosh. There we are. Because if we're being honest, it looks cool, doesn't it? That does look cool in here. That is cool. But I'm worried about it. I'm worried that it's too near. I'll probably even get a couple of guy lines in just on just in case. But I do worry about that. I worry, worry, worry. So you can pick it up, look, the Hilleberg bar. Ooh, that's a bit better that way around. Oh. Shall I tell you my problem, my worry, is that it's, my fireplace is there. I'm worried that it's going to spit at me uh, tent and that would suck. Absolutely bottled it, mate. <laughs> Tee hee hee, bottled it. I bottled it. I re I, I, the tent was too close to the fire, and if if I get on all in this, mate, I'll be absolutely devastated. Right, let's have a quick look around the setup for all you setup fans. I'm in the Hilleberg. It's the Alak Two. Possibly the last trip I'll have in it. We'll have to see how things pan out. But look at her, beautiful. Loads of space. I've got it with the footprint there as well. And then, I've got me army softies ready for when it gets cold. Xtherm, Neo Air, extra large. Alp Kit 400 Pipe Dream down sleeping bag. C to Summit pillow. I've got my sleeping bag liner in there as well. And that's it. Bit of water, not drinking today. Uh, <laughs> it's a simple, basic setup. I've got a little lantern in here that I'll put on at night, uh, when I get into bed, just if I want to read or whatever. And that's it, man. It's just a really, it's the same stuff, but if you're new to the channel, then these are the, these are the things I use. Um, I do have, I've got an Amazon um, uh, shop page that I've had for a while now and I, it's it's in the link below if you if you want to have a look I, I just put stuff in there that I have that I use that I recommend um, you can go and have a look in there uh, buy your stuff through that and I get a little bit of a kickback and it helps me out um, at no extra cost to you so happy days right I've come away from camp To this clearing where I'm looking down into the valley and I'm just gonna sit with my back against this tree and just see what comes see if I can see any deer or uh, owls or anything just take it all in just do a little bit of nature spotting Yeah. 
I know it's already a fireplace, but I still want to leave it as I found it and leave as little trace as possible. So it's worth doing it properly. Right, I've got a little bit of birch bark and uh, some bracken and whatnot, but I'm going to see if one of these uh, cramp balls takes a spark and see if we can get it going one of them. It's not been, seems pretty dry this one. And we'll create a nest out of this bracken. There we go. You see that's that's on fire now, so we're uh, don't have to worry about that. I can put it down there for a bit. While I gather my thoughts, I might even gather my gloves. The good thing is that'll stay now. That'll just stay on fire down there, smouldering away while I Put some sticks on the outside so it keeps it all together. There you go, that's better. There we go. Fire. Just bark us on the safe side. Oh shit. There's butterflies, get out mate. Oh, get out. Get out guys. Come on. Oh. No. Dude, sorry. Go, I've released it, yes! Oh, thank fuck, man. Oh, are you alright, geezer? Oh, mate, there must have been... Oh, no. So, these lads must have been... Must have been chilling in the chimney. And... Because they fell down. I fell down his mate, I, I saved his mate, his mate managed to fly away. Uh, where should I, what should I do with him? So, buzzing that his mate got away like. Flew away to start again. Right, I'm going to have to get you away from here mate because you'll get stood on. Do you want to come on my, uh, get on there. Get on here mate, we can save you. Uh, right, let's take him somewhere safe. Look how, look at his gone look. So camouflaged, man. Right. Let's take him over here. Where will he be safe, do you think? I'll pop him in here, look. Hey, I mate. Chill out. Oh, he wants to come with me, look. Oh, no. Oh, cool. Boss. Good advert for Illyberg, that innit? The butterfly whisperer. Oh. You're alright, mate, I've got you. I've got you, mate. He's walking with his wings up. What's gonna happen is he's gonna take off and I'm gonna cack it. <laughs> uh. There he is, look. Butterfly Whisperer. Right, come on then, geezer. Let's get you. I don't want you to get eaten, mate. There he is. Right, come on. Little guy, let's put him over here. Wanted to come with me, didn't you? You're part of squadron. 
Try not to touch his wings because it's not good for him. There you go, blow him off. There you go, stay there, mate. Until you gather, gather your thoughts. That's it. Camouflaged AF. There he goes. Right, hopefully he'll just blend in here until he feels up to it and then he'll, uh, he'll make a move. See you later, mate. Good luck. It's made me happy, that. A hat-trick saved three butterflies. Three peacock butterflies saved. There you go. That's happy. Happy times. Oh, I've let my fire go out there quick. Oh. It's all right looking after butterflies, mate, but you can't... What if you can't cook your dinner? Ugh. Could eat butterfly, I guess. Yeah, I've switched, you don't want to use too much rhododendron wood if you can help it because the, the smoking of a clever for you, so um, we've switched it up for the main, the main logs and the main girth of it, I won't be using rhodes. Old Faithful, I'm not, um, I'm not splitting anything too big this time. I was thinking I wasn't going to split anything, but this, uh, it's ash. I'm almost sure it's ash. It's hard to tell when things aren't in leaf, but I know my uh, I know my mountain ash, and you can hear very seasoned. So I just got all faithful. I'm just going to split a few little bits up. A nice rack of lamb. So, fat side down. I'll season it afterwards. And then just put it on the coals. I'm not mucking about. I'm just having simple food today. Uh, chuck some peppers on. Uh, a bit of broccoli. Um, in fact, I'll put the broccoli on after because that's not going to take too long, is it? I'll do me peppers. Peppers and lamb. that for a little rig, I've just took my grill into the pointing gap there, so it's suspended it, so... Oh, it smells good already. Ah, here's my peppers done. Can't see them, because it's dark, but... Charred peppers. And my broccoli, that's done, nice and soft. Oh, and warm. And then, oh, look at that, the pièce de... <laughs> nice, mate, nice. That is a banquet. That looks tasty. Let you have a little look and then I'll... I'll just bat on because I'm hungry. I can't be bothered to be getting blinded by this light. Can't believe I'm showing you broccoli. <laughs> ah! Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Mmm. Takes on a whole different flavour over the fire. It goes almost nutty. Pepper. Ah. Oh my god, juicy. Look at the juice coming out. <laughs> You're very happy. There we go. How's she cooked? That's the, the question. <laughs> Perfectly, thank you very much. I don't know if you can see, nice and pink, and then nice and caramelised on the outside. Pink, now you can see the juice dripping off it. Oh, mate, it's cooked perfectly. Nice and pink, and then fully cooked on the other side. That is a good, that is good. Let's get into it. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> done. Well done. Where am I looking? There you are. I can't quite... Can you see the juice just coming out? Oh my word. So simple. Yeah, so delicious. Mm. Really healthy as well, so there's no oil, butter, no seasoning. We really, just put a little bit of where are you? There you are. A little bit of salt on. Honestly, dude, if you could smell that, look at that pink, and just oh my god, it's dripping! Right, <laughs> I'm gonna have to log off with this one because I'm gonna enjoy it, and that light is hampering my enjoyment by singeing me retinas. Uh, I'm just gonna stare at Bushcraft TV for a couple of hours and then hit the hay. Totally in there, look. I'm in there, like, Shinobi or Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, no, Yorkshire Sub-Zero. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I've got me, uh, I've got the vents open on the tent, because there's not much wind, so just to air on side of caution so we don't get any um, condensation I've just opened the vents there's so many options with this tent as far as you know f with what you can do as far as the zips and how many zips there are and the different ways that you can ventilate the, the tent for all different seasons and temperatures anyway that's an uh, interesting fact for you content mate I've got all that like, lovely warm glow on me from just sitting in front of that fire for ages um, I've got my army softies on and my merino wool um, base layer so warm as so unless something magical or tragical happens I shall see thee on the morrow Where am I? There I am. Out. Morning glamp. Out. Pfft. Ah, morning glampers. Ah. <laughs> it's too bright this light, mate. Right. Slept well. Toasty and warm. Um, no mad noises or anything. And it's just at that stage now that, um, and I've said it before, it's like a DJ with two records. He's got the night birds, the owls and everything like that, and then the day birds. And he's, it's just in the mix at the moment. So you've got your owls and then you've got your, your dawn chorus as well. So it's pretty good. It's six o'clock. I've got work today, so it's an early, it's an early start. Not gonna muck about, gonna get fire going, a little bit of breakfast on the go. And then we're gonna I maybe dunk my junk on the way out. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I've got a hand I've got some hand warmers just for, just in case. Oh that means get up. If you know you know. Oh Ah. All right, a 
Let's get the tent tidied up, look, yeah. There you go. Let's get a fire going. There you go. Forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> hey. You didn't miss out. You didn't miss out, it was just um I just used a cotton wool ball, spark, boom. There's still a bit of residual heat in it from last night to be fair. I've chopped some more wood, split some. And I'm um, going to cook up these Scarlet Elf Cups. I'm just clean them off. They, you see, they have a stalk there. They just grow on all sorts of dead timber and bits and pieces. Right, I'm gonna, I'll clean them up. Can't tell you how nice that is. That just feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There you go. That's a landfall. Oh. It's a good thing about coconut oil is like use it in there in for cooking and it's good just to rub on your blades. Your handle keeps the rust off, keeps it looking good. So we're gonna go in with the in with the elf cups. And these don't take long. Especially not when you flambe in them like that. Woo! I'm going to go in with a few of these, just, just a bit of primrose, a bit of um, wood sorrel. Crack of salt in there. Warm my bacon back up. Let's give it a go. I'm hungry mate, hungry. Let's go for a... Go in on the uh, elf cup. Mm. Lovely. Lovely texture. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Nice one. Oh my word. <laughs> mm. Simply delicious, really delicious. I don't know if you can see the um, scarlet there. Mm. 
Thank you, Mother Nature and the butchers. It's a beautiful morning. And it's still not even seven o'clock. I get to do all this and then go to work. I feel fresh as a daisy. Oh, this is lovely. Right, stop filming myself eating. I'm gonna look at that, mate. Absolutely, what a breakfast. I'm going to eat this and then uh, we'll think about getting the fire squared away. Leave no trace. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. Uh, there's a couple of miles hike out to the truck. If I find a suitable body of water, I might be tempted, might be tempted to Diva J, but let's have a look. <laughs> hey. It looks murky, you can't really see what's in there, but... <clears throat> Hopefully it's not too wacky. Let's get in. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? And that's getting in. Right, come on then. Let's do it. Got these though, waiting for me. Hand warmers. Oh, it looks rough in there, mate. It doesn't even look deep enough to plunge. Oh, I don't have my gloves. Oh, that's really cold, mate. Get it on the GoPro. See you in a bit. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, excuse all pudding, eh, lads? Because um, <laughs> I've had a bit. I've had quite the Christmas and. Oh, I know we're in March now, but <laughs> I'm still blaming it on Christmas. How long have I got till summer? Can I get hench? Can I get hench in a few weeks or what? Woo! <laughs> oh. 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 The one in W collar, mate. Undefeated. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. Ah, oh, invigorating. Yes. Ah, tell you what, it's chilly on digits, but hand warmers, mate. Oh, <laughs> that's just. <laughs> oh. That's a lottery win right there. Look at that on digits. It's beautiful. There's a lovely layer of frost, and it's just the sun's hitting it, and it's melting, and there's steam, and no, it's not steam. There's mist. <coughs> it's just a beautiful morning. <laughs> I feel I feel great now. I feel absolutely great after a, a night in the woods and a dip just to, oh, ready for the day. So for the people that were asking, um, we, I've got a few more patches of backing stock on the uh, on the shop, uh, the Leave No Trace patches. So if you'd like to get one and help support the channel, please do. Also, new this just in, 
is a new combo look. It's a mirror, the hairs on there, cause, and you get with it a badge. And the reason for this, I was trying to think of what of something that was that people could buy to help support the channel, but then it was that you could also use maybe when you're out and about. And this is perfect for if you're out solo uh, camping, you get something in your eye. It's perfect for for um, being able to see it or thorns or ticks in unsightly areas that you can't uh, see yourself. You can just take it out from wherever you can. You can get to. It makes a good signal mirror, which is always good to have if you're uh, in the mountains or whatever. And uh, that, and it's it's ever so thin, look. And that just can that slides now into my first aid kit. And if you're um, if you like to do your selfies on the top of the mountain, what better thing to have than to, you know, get your hair done, get your makeup done, and look fresh. For all your fans on MySpace, um, I'll leave a link for this combo uh, below the video. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to get one to help support the channel, that would be uh, much appreciated. Right, oh, I'll be back soon. Not sure when, but I will be back soon. Uh, take care of yourselves. Look after each other, but mainly yourself. Because how can you look after anyone else if you're not looking after yourself? Oh. Peace, namaste, much love. You know what as well, like as I just walk this way, I know that just there, there's a river. So I don't even know what. I've just, ah, I just plunged my plum in there so I can't get away with it. <laughs> ah, this is a thing now, isn't it? Love you, bye.